Hello YouTube, it looks like we've got another high ELO ranked game here for you with the teams being since out Garen, Ari, Tarek, Draven versus Jana Cog, Kogma, Lux, Malphite, and Kale. So... Looks like the lane matchups are going to be Zinzao versus Kale in the jungle, Garen versus Malphite top, Ari versus Lux mid, and Tarek Draven versus Jana Kogma at bottom. So both AD carries are running that cleanse so that they have that r ability to get out of the slows and stuns of the opposing team. Which is probably good because they do have like Malphite, Lux, Kale. There's a lot of slows for the purple team, and there's quite a few stuns, knockbacks, and slows, charms, blah 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 for the uh, the blue team. Um, other than that, nothing too out of the ordinary here, with the exception of Lux is running that teleport, so she has a little bit more lane dominance. I think Lux beats Ari, but I don't know about that matchup, just because of the fact that she does have a shield. And she does have quite a bit of range and can lock down Ari when she's like ulting and whatnot. So unless Ari can land some pretty boss charms, I think Lux will he will come out ahead. So it looks like this game is going to load and we should uh, be underway here without a moment to go. So yeah, here we go. And it looks like um, nobody's going too out of the or ordinary with their builds. Just fixing this up. Okay. And there we go. So it looks like uh, both the junglers are starting with that Hunter's Machete and Pots. Crystalline Flask there on Malphite so he can spam a lot. And Garen running lots of health pots and award. Uh, Ari running the Crystalline Flask. Lux running lots of pots and award. Um, Draven running a Doran's Blade. He's the only one that's a little bit out of the ordinary. Not sure. I personally like the... Uh, the uh, longsword um, pots build, and it looks like blue team might invade here. It looks like they're going to go in through the blue side. Jana dropping some wards here, so they should be aware of this once it starts to happen. A purple team is all right here, so they aren't aware of this invasion quite yet, but it is going to be underway. We'll follow the Ari here while it goes in. It looks like Garen's going to lead the charge. And so Purple Team is aware of this. Lux thrown out a bind there, unable to hit him. And it looks like Blue Team is going to drop a pink ward there just so that they can kill that ward. And we shall see what's going to happen here. It looks like uh, Kale wants to start Raise Red instead, and they're going to let Blue Team take the, bl the, uh, the blue here. So we'll probably, we might see a fight here at the blue side blue blue buff here but um so a small victory there going to blue team but nothing too major it looks like Jana is gonna face check this she's gotta be careful she's gonna take a little bit of damage and if Tarek's got that stun Zen just taking the blue and running so hopefully somebody clears that out here relatively soon looks like Jana is still double checking to see if that's going on Ari wants to make sure that they protect their blue that would actually be pretty huge and slow down Kale quite a bit if they can uh, prevent Kale from getting that blue she did drop that ward there so that's a plus and it looks like Zen might see feed that Ari a quick blue which would give her a much stronger chance at winning her lane so Kale is a little bit ahead in farm for now but I think she's gonna for be forced back quite quickly just because uh, Zin did deny her that blue, so she isn't going to be able to spam as much as she normally could. Uh, bottom lane, looks like just a little bit of poke going on between the supports. But all the lanes are pretty tame right now. Pretty tame indeed. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Blue team is pushing that lane just a little bit, but uh, they're trying to put pressure on that cog because cog, he is relatively... Uh, not useless, but he's he's pretty weak early game. He does have a uh, Janna to prevent some of that damage, but I think Janna is actually one of the weaker supports right now. So Zen is doing that blue now, and I, I, I'm guessing he's going to give that to Ari. But maybe he's just going to take it. Looks like he's just going to take it. Okay. Just denying that Kale blue, forcing her back a little bit earlier than expected. Bottom lane still trading the most damage but uh, as soon as Lux gets six or Ari gets six I'm sure we'll see the damage and Garen and Malphite are relatively even it looks like they're just kind of ignoring one another right now which makes sense because Malphite just 
He's got so much um, innate tankiness and movement speed reduction with and it just poke resistance from his shield and stuff like that on these hard AD type uh, tops like Garen that it makes it difficult for uh, them to do much poke. The most he could do is really zone. But uh, Garen is pushing this lane a little bit, so he might be he might be able to try and deny some farm here. Doing a little bit of poke to uh, the uh, Malphite with that spin there, and slowly whittling him down. But I I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Malphite gets a ninja tabby real quick. And it looks like Kale wants to do a little bit of an invasion, and by a little bit I mean he, uh, swing around back and, and try and gank bottom by going through the tri bush. So we'll make sure to keep an eye on that. Malphite's still taking a little bit of poke here from the Garen. And quite a bit of poke going back and forth here. Cog is very low. Let's see if Draven goes down here. Jana pushing out. Here comes the Kale gank. Let's see if she can get the first blood. There is the exhaust. Just doing what she can. And it looks like Draven might be able to get away here. Nice flash and cleanse to get away. Cog is very low. Let's see if Lux can swing around and get a kill here. They don't have a ward. Oh, man. This is Lux's time to shine. If she can land this bind, manages to get the Taric, do quite a bit of damage to the Draven. If she can get that oh, second... There's the first blood there, but let's see if Zen can do a counter. Uh, also, Jana managed to pick up the Taric there. That is a very that is very good for a purple team. Blue team was being very aggressive at bottom lane, just pushing out there and not having the ward coverage there. A tri-bush is a little rough. I think Taric was... Oh, he only had one ward? Or did he ward the bottom bush? Hmm, interesting. I personally find warding easier for uh, blue team bottom just because you can do tri-bush and dragon, but that's just me. While for purple team, it's much more risky to ward tri-bush usually. So Malphite is going back here. It looks like on everybody's first backs. Lux, she's going spam a lot with Chalice of Harmony and that Amplifying Tome for that quick. She's either probably going to go for the quick magic pen, going into... Um, Uh, there, there's quite a few options, but uh, I would guess she's either going for Cage's Lucky Pick or the, um, well, whatever the item that, Haunting Guys, that's the word I'm looking for, my bad. Sorry, I kept thinking Leandries, I'm like, no, she's not building it that quick. So here comes a gank here, probably on mid. Lux isn't 6 yet, so she doesn't have the crazy burst yet, but Ari is out-leveling her slightly just because Lux got that gank, and it looks like Zen's just going to back away. Garen's finally headed back. Malphite on his first back decided to get a chain vest and boots. And as far as farm, nobody's too far, too outrageously ahead besides Ari is significantly ahead of this Lux, but I think Lux is about even on gold just because she got that gank. So, good for her. Good for her. And we'll see if Ari can try and zone here because just because she does have a slight level advantage over this Ari. But it, it is kind of moot now that they're both six. They do have both have their alts up, so... Bottom lane is still pushing like crazy, and they don't have good wards for this. Purple team is aware of this Ari coming, coming around for the gank. Oh, this is going to be bad news bears for Janna. Janna is going to take a lot of damage. Lux is there as well, so blue team decides to fall back. If I think Ari could have maybe gotten a uh, kill there with her uh, ultimate, but... It would have been a little risky since there was at least three, and they did see that Kale there eventually. So having a 3v4 with a turret there is a little dangerous, but I think Ari could have maybe gotten a kill. She does have that Sork Boots already, which means she does quite a bit of damage to people like Kogma, who probably doesn't have too much MR. Let's see how much MR he has. 42? Yeah, she probably already has like 30 Magic Pen. Looks like we do have a gank and a fight going on here. Doing a lot of damage there to the Taric, but there's the Zin engage on the Janna. Janna's probably going to go down here, because there is an Ignite plus an Ari ult, so supports both go down, but the kills go to the carries for on both teams. First kill finally getting picked up there for blue team. Um, yeah. Pretty good so far. Kale getting that Madrid's Razors, probably getting that Wriggles real quick, just so she has a little bit faster clear time. And uh, Malphite needs to be careful, because uh, Garen, he does have that Execute. Yeah, he doesn't do that much damage with his spin and whatnot, but um, with Brutalizer, that innate armor doesn't do that much. Garen deciding to fall back there just because he sees that Kale coming up. And it looks like here comes a gank here on the Kale. Garen coming out, 
doing a nice Q on her, spinning, but it uh, looks like he decides to disengage just because that Malph was coming down, and uh, a good alt from Malph can easily destroy the uh, the blue team there when they try to engage, because I think Ari's alt is still on cooldown, which it was, so definitely not smart. Garen still has his alt, but Malphite has this tendency to like wreck people. His ult is so powerful sometimes. It is pretty ridiculous. Unless he whiffs it, <laughs> then it's pretty then it's just like a glorified dash, but when he does it is like one of the best enga engages in the game. Tarek landing a nice stun there on the cog, but Jana Shield is starting to show its strength there. Cog is v a little bit behind this Draven to be perfectly honest. He is slightly ahead on gold, but that's cuz he's gotten a kill while Draven is not. Oh man, a lot of damage going down on the cog. There's the exhaust. Cog should be able to pick up this Draven unless Draven can flash away. Nice juke there by Draven. Good job. Womp wah for Cog. But here comes the Lux. Ari trying to do what she can to prevent this Lux from coming down and ulting. Well, I guess Lux's ult is down. So I guess she just wanted to do a nice little uh, gank there. As far as the farm, um, gold is relatively even. But as far as the gold on the carries... It's actually crazy even right now. Crazy even. Garen is the only one that's slightly ahead, and uh, Kale is slightly ahead of Zin. Zin is the only one that is kind of behind right now. But he's doing as much counter jungling as he can to prevent this Kale from uh, doing uh, getting too much farm. That's weird. I would have left one Wraith. But anyway guess he just decides to steal the race, and here comes the gank here on the, the Lux. There's the, the Ari ult and the charm, and Lux goes down. Finally, a, a solid lead on one of the lanes. Yeah, that gives a 400, 400 gold advantage there in favor of the Ari. Ari is probably going to have to go back here. She does have blue buff, so she might linger. Oh man, this Malphite is super low, but I think he's going to be able to get away just fine. I don't think Garen can catch up to him just because he doesn't have those boots yet. Plus uh, the Q. Lux getting that Grail very quickly just so she can uh, spam like crap tons. And with every kill, her mana does get 11% back, so it will pr allow her to do quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of poke in lane. Cog finally has that ult there of his. He is level 7, so he's had it for quite a bit. But he is able to poke a little bit more on this Draven. And it looks like Kale's going to feed that blue to Lux here. But yeah, so far, uh, pretty solid game for both teams. Not too f far in favor of any one team. All of them are relatively even. And it looks like that is the first real advantage there in blue team's favor. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a dragon, but uh, Malf trying to avoid some damage there, and he, uh, Garen's got to be careful, because it's a little bit hard to get away, but he does have pots going. I don't think uh, Malf can quite take him out, but since he does have that hard armor with the Glacial Shroud already, it's going to be a little hard for uh, Garen to do much damage to him. Ari is going for a gank here under the turret. Purple team, I don't think, is aware of this. Does Ari have an ult up? She does. So, it looks like Draven and Tarek are going to push, and here comes the Kale for support. Ari's got to be a little bit careful here. And here comes the gank. Ari ulting in, trying to throw out the charm. There's the cleanse. Blue team figuring out, uh-oh, this could be very bad. Lux teleports in, drops a good bind there on the Tarek, and a lot of damage is going down. Tarek gets picked up there with the help from the cog, and it looks like Ari's going to go down as well. The cog gets another kill. That's actually pretty huge. Cog getting early game gold means he can get to his late game potential much earlier, because he is a absolute monster at late game. Absolute monster. I'm not sure if he's worse than Triss, but he he's pretty strong at late game. So, Tarek finally getting that Ruby Sight Stone. Doesn't even have that Philo Stone yet. That's weird. Why does he have two Fairy Charms? Weird. Oh, he's probably getting the Chalice. Oh, there's the gank there on the cog, and I think uh, they aren't going to all be able to get away, but both these people should back now, just because Zin could swing around and uh, try and destroy them. 
And it looks like he's just going to come top towards mid or back into his jungle. Oh, it looks like he wants to do the uh, dragon. That's a little dangerous because they don't have a ward or any sort of control there. They do see Lux coming. Tarek is there as well. This is dangerous. Killing that ward is relatively huge. And Cog. We got four here from blue and only two from purple. So I think blue should be able to pick up this dragon. But Kogma is doing some quite a bit of range poke here. Um, Lux did have to flash there to avoid that charm. She could have gotten burst down. And blue team does get the dragon. And now they should disengage. Otherwise they could get, like, not aced, but take a lot of damage. Ari does get slowed there. But I think everybody's going to get away just fine. Just fine. Everybody decides to back away. Garen here going balls deep into the purple team. This is very dangerous. He could just get destroyed here. Jana gets caught out of position there. Gets stunned and then picked up. Lux misses the alt, but it looks like Garen does go down to the ignite there. Lux gets uh, Kale ulted, but the Ari manages to pick her up. I don't think Malphite has ulted yet. Oh, he did ult not too long ago. Apparently we missed that. So nice little engage there going on. Blue team having a slight advantage just because they picked up that turret and the uh, the dragon here. Let's see if they can uh, use it to spiral a little bit out of control here. But As far as items goes, it looks like Zen went for that quick uh, Locket of Iron Solari. Garen's going for the... Uh, probably the quick... Uh, what's it called? Derp, 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 derp. Uh, Black Cleaver plus the Hex Drinker. Uh... It's something I'm not sure if it's actually super viable, but I hear Sword of the Divine is actually pretty crazy on him. I have tried it once, just because of the fact that you can activate it, and his spin does bonus damage while when it crits. And I use crits with, like, um, apostrophes. Not apostrophes. Um, you know what I mean. Um, quotes, just because uh, it doesn't actually quit, but it does do bonus damage when it would crit. And the Sword of the Divine gives 3 seconds of guaranteed crit or 3 auto attacks. And since they aren't considered auto attacks, it crits for the full spin duration. So I'm not sure how viable it is, just because it doesn't do anything while it's on cooldown. But it would be interesting to see, to do some testing, because maybe, maybe it is really good, I don't know. But anyway, back to the game at hand. Malphite going real armor heavy, just because they are very... AD. Ari is their only magic damage. Tarek does a little bit, but not too much. Blue team still being hyper aggressive at this bottom turret. They, it looks like they might try to pick it up here, but Janna dropping that shield prevents it from going down this time, but maybe on the next wave. Uh, Garen is starting to get quite a bit ahead of this Malphite, it looks like, and here comes the Zin gank on the Malphite, but this isn't going to do much, just because they have so much armor, and he does he's just so anti-attack speed. Like... Nope, not going to do much. Sorry, guys. That's Malphite. He is like the hardcore anti-AD champ. If somebody picks an AD champ and you want to counterpick him, pick Malphite. Because he's like, oh, I like lots of armor. And I completely destroy attack speed. So, yeah. Have fun with that. And it looks like blue team does manage to pick up that bottom turret. They're doing a very good job of pushing when they need to and picking up the objectives like Dragon very, very, very well. Draven trying to do a little bit of damage here to the Kale, but it uh, looks like he might get caught a little bit out of position. But Janna didn't manage to catch up and do that slow, but... Is Kale building AP? Looks like she's building AD AP hybrid, maybe supporty. I don't know what's going on quite there yet. It looks like there is the gank on the Malphine at top, and he might get a double kill here. Oh, there's the Garen ult to pick him up. Get dunked, but here comes the rest of the purple team. Let's see if Garen can get away. Janna trying to get around, but it looks like Ari teleporting in. It looks like Garen is going to go down here to the Kale. Let's see if Ari can do anything here. Pick up a kill. Garen is running like crazy. Manages to go down there to the Kale, but it looks like Ari is going to ult in here. Do quite a bit of damage. Kale ult going down, saving the Lux's life there from taking too much damage. And Zin is... Janna's trying to duel this Zin. I guess she's just trying to bait him to stay as long as possible for that Lux and Kale to come around. And it looks like Ari is going to swing around. She's not aware of this ward here. Lux and Kale could come in from behind. There's the flash there from uh, Janna just to push that Zin back. But I don't I don't think... Whoo, it's going to be close. And he goes down. He goes down. And Ari now gets forced back just because there are three here. 
And it looks like Draven is coming in from the back. Janna is relatively oom, so they can't do too much, but it looks like Malphite is here as well. If he can drop the ult, it's going to be pretty huge, but his ult is on cooldown. There's a nice Lux ult, manages to pick up the Taric, and let's see if they can get this Draven as well. Drops the slow, but I think he cleansed out of it. And the chase is on. Garen is coming. Are they going to dive this? There's the Janna shield, and here's the dive. Lux throws out all our skills, misses everything. That drops the slow there once again to pick up the kill, and Cog manages to defend them as they retreat. That was two turrets deep. Two turrets deep. Wow. Blue team needs to drop a little bit more defensive wards. Their wards are really aggressive right now, all in the purple team's jungle. Like, they do have those turrets down, so they can capitalize on those quite a bit, but uh, when uh, stuff like that happens, it's a little rough. Looks like purple team is going to be able to uh, defend their mid lane here. And there's the Malphite ult there on the Ari. Ari trying to ult away. Let's see if she can. Drops all three. Let's see if the Malphite can get another seismic shard there. She does flash over the wall, and I think she is going to be able to get away here. Kale was thinking about swinging around, but because they don't have ward coverage there... It's a little rough. They could just get destroyed. His Malphite ult is down. Looks like blue team wants to do dragon here again. Looks like they're going to swing around. There's the uh, Reverie. Nice stun there. Going down on the luck. She is going to go down here. Oh, nice Kale ult. Maybe she can get away here. Managed, them, managed to make them split their... Uh, split their ideas. Lux needs to run. And it looks like blue team is considering... Uh, they are going to do the dragon here. Lux, does she have her ult up still? She does, so she could theoretically steal this. Garen doing what he can to prevent this uh, this Lux from doing anything to try and steal the dragon. And now blue team is being super aggressive. They do have a slight gold advantage, but... Uh, and Draven is a little scary because he does have that Bloodthirster and a zeal already. I guess it's not that already. It's it, we are 21 minutes in. How much how much gold does he have? I guess he has a thousand. <laughs> anyway, but looks like Kale did manage to get that Aegis. I'm surprised that uh, Malphite didn't get that or Janna. But Janna got that quick Reverie as well. Derek doesn't even have boots yet. He just says Reverie. I I'm not sure if that's a mistake. I personally would have gotten at least tier one boots from here right now just because the fact that they do have so many slows because slows compound pretty uh, pretty ridiculously the slower you are the more damage that they can do like uncontrolled and with cog jana kale lux like you've just got so many people that are able to do constant damage there Lux and Kale trying to push at this mid turret. Draven dropping his ult there to prevent them from doing too much damage. Lux throws out the bind there to stop the Ari from doing anything too crazy there with like an ult or a charm and stuff like that. But blue team does have a strong advantage right now just because they do have those two dragons and two turrets up over the purple team. But uh, we'll see. It's all going to come down to these uh, these Malphite ults and these Zen ults. That uh, it's pretty much going to be those two that are going to be the deciding factors on these engages. If Malphite can get like alt three people, and then Cog can get in, in and Cog is in the right position, like it's going to be pretty huge because what you're going to see is Malphite knocking up three people, Lux dropping the bind, hitting a bunch of people with her E, and then doing the alt to pop all that passive, and it's going to do quite a bit of damage, just quite a bit. But we'll see. The, these first couple team fights, once we finally get these 5v5s, they're going to be pretty huge. Looks like we are going to see a small engage here at the blue buff. But it looks like purple team is going to disengage. Disengage. Draven's still pushing out here quite a bit. Cog still can't contest too much with him, just because that Draven is pretty far ahead of him. He's actually a little over a thousand gold ahead of that of that uh, Draven. Ari doing a little bit of damage there to the Kale, and Purple Team's desperately trying to hold on to this mid turret. Once that mid turret goes down, the map opens up a lot more for this blue team. They're just going to be able to roam through the jungle. Janna getting caught a little bit out of position, but I think she'll be alright. Not too bad. If Kale, man if not Kale, if uh, Garen managed to get the uh, 
silence. Big, uh, big charm there going down on the, uh, the Kale, but she does manage to alt herself to save her. Janna dropping the alt there to try and save everybody. Lux dropping a nice bind there, and Zin is going to go down here. He tries to flash over the wall, but it isn't going to be enough. Uh, Malphi getting pretty low here. Garen trying to do what he can. I wouldn't be surprised if Garen ults him, but doesn't quite have enough to bring him down, and Garen's probably going to go down here as well. Ari ulting to try and catch up to this Malph. Manages to pick him up. And Cog also... Uh, not Cog. Cog unable to hold that bottom lane. Ari manages to pick up another kill there at this uh, jungle. And both those t team members managed to get away. But meanwhile, at bottom lane, Draven and Tarek are just pushing the crap out of this lane. Cog is unable to defend this on his own. Unable to. Just because Tarek knockback, stand aside, is a very good combo. Plus, uh, Draven, his uh, spinning axes, they, they hit really freaking hard. <laughs> really freaking hard. Wicked Blades, that's... And it looks like this mid turret is going to go down here very shortly, and that's going to open up the map a lot here for blue team. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do a Baron here very soon. And there is the turret going down. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a ton more aggression here from the blue team. They've already been pretty aggressive, but now I think it's going to escalate to a whole new level. Just because they have so many turrets advantage, and they do have a 6k gold advantage. Dragon should be coming up here again very shortly, so we'll probably see another fight here oriented around that. But looks like Purple Team is trying to uh, do some defensive warding here, but they don't quite have the vision that they need. Nope. Not super fantastic. Purple Team having a lot of vision around that dragon. But uh, by dragon, I mean blue buff. So we'll see what happens next. I think we're going to see one more dragon fight, and then we'll probably see the uh, one more team fight, and then the Baron. Unless it's completely one-sided, like it's a, like it's an ace for blue team and nobody goes down, then they might be able to do a quick Baron. But Malphite is pretty tanky now. He doesn't have any MR, I don't think. Let's see how much MR he has. 84, so Ari can still do quite a bit of damage, and does she have much magic pen? She does have that Abyssal Scepter, so she's not quite doing true damage, but she's probably doing it, so he only has about 30. Garen going pretty pretty crazy here, is flashing over the wall, doing quite a bit of spinning. There's the Draven ult there, bringing the, the cog awfully low. Janna forced to ult there to prevent a lot of people... And there is the Malphite ult, doing a lot of damage to the RA, forcing her to ult back over the wall. Garen spinning like crazy. Malphite does go down there to the Zin, and Purple Team is now on their back foot. <laughs> Zin doing a nice engage there. Or, Garen doing a nice bait there. And, uh, it looks like Cog is going to be able to get away there, but Janna goes down trying to save him. And I don't think Lux and Kale can do much here. Blue is going to get a nice free dragon here. They didn't even lose anybody over that engage, and now, now this is where things get out of control because purple team needs to win the next team fight. Otherwise, basically blue team's gonna baron unless they take out both the like all three of the tanks. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm it's seven k gold advantage in per blue team's favor is pretty strong. Looks like Tarek is starting to drop those wards there so that they can see if purple team decides to do baron and at least situation so that they could do baron if they need to looks like purple team is thinking about doing that baron they might catch Tarek here ron Tarek, ron <laughs> he does have that boots mobility so he he is quite fast especially with that shirelias i love these iron legion skins i think they're fantastic Fantastic. I think the Lux skin is particularly brutal. Like, it's like when she ults, it just... I don't know. I feel like there's a certain strength about that blast prismatic uh, cannon. What is that skill called? Final Spark. It's alright. I don't, I don't know the names of most of the... Uh, of the skills. I just know, like, what they are. is like QR and what, roughly the damage they do. Lux doing an ult there to poke a little bit at the Ari and clear the lane to prevent it from pushing too much. Purple team is finally aware that blue team did manage to pick up that dragon once again. And they still have a strong 7k gold advantage in blue team's favor. So, as far as where that gold's at, I think it's mostly on the Draven and Ari. <laughs> Support, like, just everybody is solidly ahead. Zinn is the only one that's not too far ahead of the, the Kale, but... 
I wouldn't be surprised if we see a blue team force the Baron fight here. Ari's going to have to go back first, and then I, I think we're going to see the Baron fight. I think it's going to happen. I think it is going to happen. Zin taking a little bit of poke there from the cog. Looks like purple team's also realizing that we're going to have a big fight here. Either at this mid turret or um, for the Baron. We'll see. It looks like blue team is going to try and force push this purple turret. They don't have the Ari, which is a little... Not disturbing, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it a little bit harder because basically they need a good charm in order for... Like at the beginning of the fights to uh, allow them to do quite a bit of damage, but... Or at least have these engages that have been so ridiculous so far, but... We still have not seen these Malphite ults that completely wreck the team. He finally decided to get a little bit of MR there. So that Ari stops destroying him, the Garen ult stops destroying him, so... Tarek is going back, not quite sure what he's buying. Garen does have that bulwark already, so it looks like he just decided to get an oracle so he can clear the wards around Baron. Manages to drop that ward. That's actually relatively huge. Ari misses the charm there. That would have been pretty big, because she probably would have been able to pick up the Janna there if she managed to pick up that ward. That pink ward is very good. It's picked up quite a few. Blue team wants. It looks like they want to try and push this top turret just because uh, purple team has turtled up pretty hardcore at this mid lane. Or and uh, Tarek's just roaming around with his oracles, clearing these. Uh, that's rough. Losing a vision ward. That's really rough. She had just placed that. A lot of money going down the tube here. Tarek doing a good job here of doing map control. Purple team has really bad vision of the Baron area, so... Blue team could theoretically force the Baron fight here. All they'd have to do is, like, sit in this bush. And purple team would almost be obligated to, uh... To check it. Like, they do have a cog and a luck, so they can check it fairly easily, but... It looks like blue team is gonna try and force this Baron. So we're going to see a fight here. Depending on how uh, quickly they can do this, this is going to be interesting. Purple team is aware is aware of blue team doing Baron. If they can get this down very, very quickly, it is at half. Purple team needs to get on this right now. They need to get on this right now. Blue team manages to get the Baron, and this is, this is bad news bears here for purple team. Uh, Garen flashing over the wall, trying to do a bit of an engage. Draven trying to do what he can over the wall, but it looks like Garen is going to go down here. Draven dropping the alt, but it's not going to do much. Ari manages to pick up the Malphite there at mid lane. And uh, this is going to be a problem. This is a huge problem for blue team, uh, for purple team right now, just because uh, with that Baron buff, it's going to allow this blue team to push really hard here at mid. Uh, and I think they're going to be able to get the inhib here, just because it is a 5v4 plus that Baron buff. They're at least going to be able to drop this turret. Surrender, t uh, surrender vote does go down, but uh, no conclusive facts there. And they should be able to get that. Oh my god, that turret. Okay, so they managed to pick up that turret there, but uh, the base is cracked, but they aren't able to pick up that inhib quite yet. They should be able to soon. They're just waiting for that Garen to come back and uh, wreck some face. Wreck some face. Cog finally has that IE, so maybe he can uh, carry his team to greatness here, but I think he's a little bit too far behind. We'll see. We shall see indeed. And it looks like we've just decided to do a little bit of lull. Blue team just deciding to buy, and then they're going to do a giant push here, probably either at mid or top. I wouldn't be surprised if they crack the, the second turret at bottom since it's still relatively pushed, but maybe Garen will push pr the top lane enough for them to crack, uh, pop that second turret there at the top lane. So, looks like Draven's going to head back. wonder what he's buying. He does have 1,600 gold. Probably a BF sword there so he can build it into an IE, but I don't know. I don't know. It looks like, yeah, he is picking up that BF sword. And it looks like Blue Team wants to push on this mid middle inhibitor. 
and purple team is just going to be forced to defend this as much as possible. Kale is back right now, so blue team might be able to do something here, but everybody is relatively safe, safely placed right now. Garen swinging around behind here on this Malphite, doing a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough to go too crazy. But it might be enough to do a little bit of damage to this turret, but apparently not. Lux heading back right now, and now is the moment for blue team to push something. Looks like they're a little dis undecided. It looks like Garen wants to push this top. And he might be able to take this. Looks like he is going to take this. With that Baron buff. And now blue team is going to push this inhib as well. Without the Malphite there, it's going to be a little rough for them. Because they they really rely on that Malphite ult to, uh, for the engages. Because nobody else really wants to engage. Lux, she can poke quite a bit. But with that Baron buff, blue team is fairly resilient to the poke. Especially with having Bulwark and quite another stuff. There is the Shirelias popped. But I don't think... Uh, they can do much. Manages to stun the cog. And there... Oh, there's the charm. He does cleanse out of it. Malphite ult going down, but he is getting burst down quite hard. Draven manages to pick him up. And blue team still is all up. Huge Ari ult going down there. Doing a lot of damage. Manages to pick up... The uh, Janna and the Lux almost takes down the Cog, and that's going to be GG, my friends. GG. Because with only Tarek down, Blue Team can push really hard here. Really hard. They should be able to get both these Nexus turrets down and probably push for the win. And this is probably going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. It's quite a bit of fun to, uh, to commentate, even though it did swing a little one-sided there towards the mid to late game. But... GG, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. As far as the high elo players that were in this game, it was, uh, let's see, what was the name? Lanfear on the Lux. Everybody else, they, they're all relatively high, but nothing too crazy. Lan, uh, Lanfear was one of the higher people. So, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to like it, favorite, blah, 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 subscribe, whatnot. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks again.